Wow, this all seems like a bad nightmare. One of my best friends and my wife are actually seeing one another. And when I thought all was just a big misunderstanding, I find out I was lied to, that they were on a date. I'm not even really angry. I'm just really disappointed. Well, I see you enjoy watching Minecraft. Well, I have another channel where I'm able to play Minecraft and Roblox, so if you want to check that out, there will be a link in the description, and that's for my other channel, Proper Dummies. So go show that some love, and let's get into this next episode of Minecraft High School. I don't know what to think about all this. I, I can't believe Liz would do this to me. I, I really thought she loved me. I mean, she wakes me up in the morning, and she says she loves me, and... We say, love you, before we go to bed. I mean, we've been saying that for forever. A and here she is, cheating with Kevin? What, what the heck do I do? I don't know what to do. I can't go over there and fight him. If I do, I'll get... Su I won't get suspended now. I just got suspension for fighting him. I'll get expelled. I can't do that. This is my senior year. I cannot risk my... my graduation. I, I, I just can't. But my wife... She, I, Liz is my wife! I, I don't know why she would do this to me! Oh, God. This is... This is not right. This is gotta be some horrible nightmare or some evil prank that I'm just not in on. Kevin... Kevin had become one of my good friends. I know that we had our our differences when he started dating Maggie, which, you know, obviously was one of my ex-girlfriends, but he finally saw the light and realized that that girl was crazy. But there's nothing wrong with Liz. Liz is perfect. She... She's my wife, and and I love her. I loved her. I can't love her now. There's no way. I, she cheated on me. But what am I supposed to do about this situation? Well, there's the bell. Let's go ahead and... I guess... I don't know. Get out of school, I guess. I don't know where I'll end up, but at least I won't be here. Bert, please, we need to talk about what happened. My advice to you, Kevin, is to never talk to me again. I'm pretty sure I told you at lunch that if you talk to me again, that I would put you in the hospital. And I meant that. Just let me explain myself. All I need to know is... Was it just you and Liz? And please be honest. Yes. It was just us. Then you both lied to me. You two went on a date. It's as simple as that. No one lies about something like a trip to the movies unless... Unless they're trying to hide something. And that's what you're trying to do. You're hiding something. It was a date. I know something happened. I don't want to know what. Maybe I do, but... I don't know, Kevin. I can't look at you the same. We need to talk about this. I, I need to explain myself. No, j just stop talking. I'm done with this. I'm done with you. H heck, I'm done with Liz, too. You too. You know, you really suck. This is... <sighs> look, I'm going to give you some time to calm down. Later tonight, I'm going to stop by, and we're going to talk about this. Uh, no, you're not. You're ar you, you aren't coming by my house. You can just go comfort Liz, because I'm kicking her out of the house when I get home. And if you do show up to my house, well, I'm going to call the police. That's what I'm going to do. Bert, stop! Don't throw away my friendship like this, let alone your wife! It was just a big, dumb mistake! Letting you two into my life 
was the big dumb mistake. Stay out of my life and stay away from me, for your own health. We only have a few months till graduation. Then we'll have to never see one another again. God, what a jerk. How dare him? And how dare them? Why are my friends, my friends, hanging around him? Why aren't they comforting me? They know what's going on with me and Liz. I mean, that's my wife. Why are they not beside me talking to me and like, you know, saying, hey, Bert, it's going to be okay. No one's really talked to me. Maybe they're just trying to get intel. I hope it's just intel. I'm just depressed now. I really am. Can you blame me? My wife cheated on me. I'm going to have to break up with her. I, I'm going to have to break up with her. I'm not going to stay with somebody who could do that to me. Let alone lie to me. Let me believe it for a little bit and then get caught in the lie. I'm just not going to do that. I don't know. Let's just... I don't know. Go talk to Austin. Or talk to mom. Or talk to dad. I don't know who to talk to. My friends obviously don't want to talk because they're over there hanging out with Kevin. I don't know why. I thought I was a better friend. Kevin was a bully at one point. Why are they hanging out with him and not me? I've always been nice to him. I think I'm just overthinking this. I need to stop overthinking this. Those are my friends. I'm just in a really bad place right now and I'm overthinking things. Let's just get home. Jeez, why does she have to be there? Why is she over there? I don't want to talk to her. Not right now. I can't. I can't talk to her right now. Don't you cry, Bert. Don't you cry in front of her. All right. Let's go do this. She's probably going to talk to me. That kind. Josh. Please, don't walk away like that. You really think I wouldn't find out about this blatant lie you two tried to get me to believe? H how dare you? How dare both of you? Josh, I'm sorry, okay? I, I really am. Can we please just calm down and talk? No. No, no, we can't. And everyone needs to stop telling me to calm down. Kevin told me to try to calm down too. I'm allowed to be angry. This is one of the most perfect times for me to be angry. My wife, you cheated on me. You cheated on me. I'm allowed to be angry. Josh, please. I'm sorry. I was wrong of me. I know that. Please, can we talk about this? No, there is no talking about this. You went on a date with one of my best friends. Then you got me to believe I was wrong. But now, I found out you really did go on the date that I thought you didn't. You are both dead to me. Dead. And I don't want anything to do with either of you anymore. Josh, we're married. Don't throw what we have away. I, I love you. Well, I loved you. Up until that moment, I found out what I did about you two today. It didn't mean anything, Josh. I swear. It was a moment of weakness. I swear. Please, forgive me. No. No. Uh, I won't do that. Not for something this big. Uh, I'm going home now. And don't you even dare to think about coming home to my house. You go to your dad's or Kevin's. I honestly don't care where or what you do at this point. That's my house too, Josh. You can't do that. My parents paid for that house, Liz. All your dad did was help us move in. <laughs> and heck, he can help you move out as well. And so now you're kicking me out? Um, yeah. I'm surprised you are as surprised as you are right now. You cheated on me. What, what do you think? Are you... Are you dumb? But we're married. Josh, please... Don't do this. It was a stupid mistake. How about this? I'm going to ask you a question. 
one question and you have to answer it 100% truthfully. Can you do that? I promise. Okay. Did you and Kevin kiss? Josh, please. Liz, just, just answer the question. It's complicated, Josh. It's a yes or no question. It's not complicated. Yes, okay. Yes, I kissed him. Oh. Okay. Well, I appreciate your honesty, I suppose. But I still stand my ground. I want you out of the house. You can move out your stuff this Saturday. Don't text or call me. I won't be at the house on Saturday. You can get your stuff done. Josh, what does this mean for our marriage? What marriage? I did it. I told her we're done. I I didn't honestly think I had the balls to do something like that. That was that was pretty darn scary. But I got cheated on. And I would expect her to do the very same thing if, you know, I had cheated on her. I would want her to, you know, tell me to get out. Well, obviously she couldn't tell me to get out of the house cuz my parents paid for that house, but I, you know, like we would break up and stuff like that. It's just weird to think that we're actually broken up. I've been with Liz for a very long time. But I mean, cheating is serious. You, you can't take back things like that. I mean, maybe one day I can learn to forgive her, but it sure as heck isn't anytime soon. I don't know why I'm here at my parents' house and why I'm in my bedroom, but... I just can't go home right now. There's too much of her at home and I'll just get upset and I'm a guy and I don't like crying and I've already been crying because my nose is all freaking stuffy and she probably already knows that and I hate crying because it looks like a sign of weakness even though everybody cries. But I went where I was most comfortable and that's my bedroom. Which kind of sucks because we spent a lot of time in here too. I... I don't know what to do. I really don't. Uh, what are you doing home exactly? Not now, bro. I just, I need a moment, okay? Well, this doesn't look good. But what did you get yourself into this time? Can we, um, can we just talk later, Austin? I just, um, I, I can't right now, okay? I'm kind of emotionally drained. I'm just gonna take a nap then we can talk okay that that's okay i guess uh talk to you then thanks um can you just shut the door on the way out yeah bro just take it easy thanks bro wake up dude it's been like three hours what what what, what am i doing here Oh, wait, I, I remember now. God, I wish that was all just a really bad dream. Well, out with it, you moron. I want to know what's going on. You don't even care, Austin. You just want my stupid story to fill your lust for drama. Hmm, this must be really serious. You, you don't normally care this much. Look, I'm your brother, and yes, I enjoy drama. But I can tell this is serious. And I want you to know you can talk to me. Fine. We can talk. But don't tell Mom and Dad about this. Not yet, at least. Let's go to your room and talk about this, okay? And then she admitted to me that they even kissed on the date. I then basically said the marriage is over and for her to come get her stuff on Saturday. And, um, yeah, I walked here and, well, I passed out on my bed. Dude, I'm so sorry. I can't believe Kevin would do you like that. 
After all that, which happened with, you know, him dating Maggie. I guess some people never change. Yeah. I guess I was stupid to think he could be a good guy. Let alone one of my best friends. I'm really sorry, Josh. This really sucks. Uh, what are you gonna do exactly? Well, exactly what I said I would. Me and Liz are done. <laughs>